All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to say, call hello. How about Shimmy Asha? How about Shimmy Kakadash? First and foremost, giving all glory and honor to the Almighty Yahweh. Secondly, to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. And thirdly, to the Rakakadash, which is the Holy Spirit that gives us all knowledge, wisdom, and truth. I also would like to give double honors to the elect elders of Israel, as well as the apostles and the servants that are diligently, all right, doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Those that are making their life a, a living sacrifice for the Almighty, all right, uh, the men and women who have returned to this wise counsel, those that are seeking their salvation with all fear and trembling, all right, those that are serving the Lord with all diligence, all right, with everything they got, all right, and as and I also would like to give salutations to the confusion of faith that is scattered across the four corners of the earth that come from the sea line of Israel. I would like to say shalom. All right, coming back at you with a very powerful lesson. All right, and the title of this lesson is entitled, The Elites Know That the 144,000 Are Here and Will Stop at Nothing to What Prevent Their Salvation. All right, I'm going to repeat that again. The elites understand that the 144,000 are here and will stop at nothing to what? Prevent their salvation. All right. All right. So when you understand the scriptures, all right, it's all about the elect. All right. And there were uh, a plan of renown, all right, men that the Lord sent back here in this last time to uh, wake up to this truth. All right, to prophesy the downfall of the so-called white man's kingdom. All right, to defend. All right, the believers. All right, and to keep them until the time that Yahweh shall come. All right, these men were are, are designated as sleeper cells that will wake up to the true gospel of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. All right, and the heavenly Father will wake them up in order. All right, I want to grab a quick scripture here, starting in the book of First Corinthians, chapter 15. All right, and um, all right, this is First Corinthians, chapter 15. All right, and I'm going to start here. It's all right, uh, First Corinthians, chapter 15. And I'm going to start here at 19, all right, which I'm going to highlight this. 1 Corinthians 15 and 19, all right. And it reads, if in this life only we have hope in Yahweh Shah, we are made, we are of all most miserable. But now is Yahweh Shah risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. Because what? Yahweh Shah is the cornerstone of the first fruits. He's the prototype. All right. He was the first titan created by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right. He's the blueprint of the elect. All right. Which collectively, the 144,000 make up all the attributes of Yahweh Shah, which all those attributes he gave to what? The 144,000 as well as he gave what? This testimony to them in the beginning when he made the 144,000. Okay. All right. Verse 21. It says, For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. All right. And here in this time, Yahweh died and gave us what? The new covenant. All right. To what? Give us the Holy Spirit and resurrect us from the dead. All right. Let's grab that in the book of... Uh, uh, X, um, uh, let me grab the X, the, uh, let me see here. I think it's the 25th chapter. All right. And let me get, grab this X, the 26th chapter. And all right. Let's start at 60. It says, but rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness both to these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in which I will appear unto thee, deliver thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom I send thee, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light, 
and from the power of Satan to Yahweh, and and and, and that they may receive forgiveness of sins and, and an inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith in, in me. All right, so here in this, this time, all right, the elect will what? Wake up to this truth and believe the gospel. All right, and Yahweh shall will give them the Holy Spirit and will what? Raise them up in the last day. All right, uh, let me grab that. Actually, let me go back to 1 Corinthians 15 and then I'll jump to that. 1 Corinthians 15. All right. First um, Corinthians 15, let's start back at what, 21. It said, for since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For in for as in Adam all die, even so in Yahusha, in, in Yahusha shall be, be made alive. But every man in his own order, Yahusha, the first fruits after after they that are Yahweh is at his coming. So this will show the order, all right, that Yahweh will what? Wake up his elect, all right, which Yahweh being the first fruits, I mean the first fruit, and then the, it says Yahweh Shah, the first fruits, the 144,000, and after what? The believers, that uh, uh, after they that are Yahweh at his coming, which will be the believers. It says, then come at the end when she, he shall deliver up the kingdom of Yahweh, even the father, when he shall put down all rule and all authority and power for he must reign to have put all his enemies under, under his feet. And the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death, which is what the so-called white man. Verse 27, for he have put all things under his feet. But when he have put all things under him, it is manifested that he is expected, which did put all things all things under him, and when all things shall be subdued unto him, then the Son also shall be subject unto him that put all things under him, that Yahweh may be all in all. All right, so Yahweh Shah is coming to what? Put down the so called white man kingdom, save his elect, all right, and establish the kingdom of heaven. All right, now Yahweh Shah will wake up, all right, the true believers here in this last day. All right, this is a uh, John chapter 4, verse 23. All right, it reads, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Yahweh is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. All right, so Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua will wake up what the elect in order. Okay, also, let's go to the John chapter 6 and 39. All right. All right, we're going to start here at verse 35. And Yahweh shall say unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I say unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father giveth, all that the Father giveth me shall come to me. So the, the elect who the Lord designed to wake up in this truth will what? come to the light, this knowledge, all right, which the Lord programmed them to wake up, all right, it says, all that of, that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me, and I will in no wise cast out, for I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me, and this is the Father's will which have sent me, that all which have that, that all which he have given me, I shall lose nothing, but raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone that see of the Son, that's being the Bible, and believe him on him, this truth, may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. All right? So that's what Yahweh Shah is doing right now. All right? Raising up the elect. All right? Here in these, well, the, and, and the elect has rose him. All right, and standing upon their feet. Yahweh willing, we are part of that number because the Lord awakened us. All right. Now we as we know that awakening process, all right, is also noted in the book of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, in the first verse. All right, it says, Then the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit and sent me down in a in, in the midst of a valley full of full of bones. All right, that valley will be America, which is considered a low place morally. All right, a dark place. All right, 
and caused me to pass round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. All right, and why would the Israelites be considered dry? Because we didn't have this with this water, these living waters, this truth. That's why the scripture says, "What um, uh, he that believe on me out of his belly shall flow what rivers of living waters." Let's grab that, John chapter seven and verse thirty-eight. All right, it reads, it says, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures say, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. All right, so what we didn't have this truth, that would be what the proverbial living waters. Okay, all right, uh, 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 where was that, Lord? Bring it back. All right, uh, Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. All right, let me grab that. All right, this is Ezekiel 37. And verse three, it says, and he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, thou knowest. And he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. All right. Thus said the Lord unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. All right. And this breath will be what? The Holy Spirit. All right. All right. Verse six. All right. And I will lay sinews upon you and bring flesh upon you. That means knowledge and cover you with skin and put breath and, and, and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as he commanded me and I, and so I prophesied as he commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise and behold, a shaking and bones came to bones. And the bones came together, bone to his bones. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say uh, to the wind, thus said the Lord, All right, come for the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these, saying that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath came into them, and they lived, and they stood up upon their feet, a exceedingly great army. All right, and that exceedingly great army will be a, the prophets, all right, who are what, sent here, all right, here in these last days, all right, to what, do a job, to wake up their brethren so that they may ascend when the Yahweh shall come, that they might be, what, delivered. All right, out of what? Hell. All right, let me uh, read down a couple more verses. Verse 11, then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our our bones are dried, our hope is lost. We are cut off from our parts. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, thus said the Lord, behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you out of your graves, and and shall put my spirit in you, that's the Holy Spirit, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your, your own land, and ye shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, said the Lord. The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Moreover, son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah, all right, which would be the southern kingdom, and the children of Israel, his companions, and and the uh, another stick, and write upon it for Joseph, the northern kingdom, the stick of Ephraim, of all the house of the uh, of Israel, his companions. So these two sticks are going into what the Lord raising up the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay, all right, the house of David, all right, of the twelve tribes, the elect, all right, and and he joined them one to another in, in one stick and they had became one in his hand. And when the children of, of thy people shall speak unto thee and say, will thou not show us thou what, what meanest these? Say unto them, thus said the Lord, behold, I take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim and, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and put them with the stick of Judah, all right, and make them one stick in thy hand and 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 make them one stick, and they shall be one in thy hand. All right, and this will go into what? When the prophets go out on the highways of the byways with the 12 tribes chart and show the Negroes, Native Americans, and Mexicans who they are according to the Bible, all right, to wake them up. And these sticks whereupon thou writest shall be in thy hand before their eyes, and say unto them, 
Thus said the Lord, behold, I will take the children of Israel from among you, from among the heathen, whether they, they be gone and, and, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel and one king shall be king to them all and they shall be no more two nations neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all all right so this will be what the awakening of the what 12 tribes of israel and the lord what bringing them back together okay now the lord will send what prophets to do this job all right renowned men of old elect spirits all right let's grab that in the book of um Ezekiel 34 and 29. All right. And it reads, let's start at 28. It says, and they shall be no more a prey to the heathen. That's the so-called white man. Neither shall the beast, beast of the land devour them or what kill them, but they shall dwell safely and none shall make them afraid. And I will raise up for them a plant of renown. That will be what? The 144,000 prophets. All right, and they shall no more be consumed with hunger in the land, neither shall they bear the shame of the heathen anymore. Right? Hunger for this truth and what? The shame of being called a nigger, a spick, a Native American, but they will put on their true nationality, which is an Israelite, and what? All right, not uh, bear that shame of their ignorance. Verse 30 Thus shall they know that I am the Lord, their power, and with them. And, and and they, even the house of Israel, are my people, said the Lord, and ye my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your power, said the Lord. So that, that 144,000 will be men of plenty of renown, all right, kings, warriors, all right, prophets, teachers of old that the Lord will raise up here in these last days, all right, which we're going to grab that in the book of Sirach 44, all right, and 1. All right, let me grab that, Sirach. Uh, okay, let me, let me just back up. All right, it says, Let us now praise famous men and our fathers that begot us. The Lord have wrought great glory by them through his power from the beginning. See, that will be the elect. Such did bear rule in their kingdoms. Men are renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies. All right, the prophets. Leaders of the people by their counsel and by their knowledge, their knowledge of learning meant for the people, wise and eloquent are they in their instructions. All right. All right. Verse five. I'm going to read down to seven. All right. It says, such as phoned out musical tunes and recite verses in writing, rich men furnished with ability, living peaceable in their habitations. All these were honored in their generations and what a glory of their times. All right, so the Lord sent the what? The best of the best back. All right, to what? Wake up the elect. All right, those chosen servants. All right. Um, all right, that he will wake up in his time. Prophets. All right, let's grab something right here. All right, this is the book of Sirach 36. And what the Lord is doing right now. All right. Let me, let me uh, all right. All right. One moment, let me just highlight this. All right, this is Sirach 36 and 11. So what the, the prophets will wake up and teach this word and gather the believers. All right, the same people who when Yahweh Shah rode in on the donkey said, Yahweh Shah not, Yahweh Shah not, save us now. From what all these generations that believed on Yahweh Shah and believed on the word and stayed faithful, the Lord woke them up in this time. All right, which are the believers, but the prophets were sent behind enemy lines to do a what specific purpose of what waking them up. These prophets will be a what angels of the Lord sent down here on the earth. Okay. This is Sirach 36 and 11. It says, gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit out them as from the beginning. O Lord, have mercy upon thy people. And that mercy will go into what the Lord giving us back this wisdom. That is called by thy name, and upon Israel, whom thou namest thy firstborn. O be merciful unto Jerusalem, the holy city, the place of thy rest. Fill Zion with unspeakable oracles, and thy people with thy glory, this wisdom. Give testimony, which is what? This truth, unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. That's the elect. 
and raise up prophets which have been in thy name, reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful. So the prophets will what? Remain faithful to the end. Not so not only that, the prophets will be what designed to prophesy and be witnesses of Yahweh Shah here in these last days. Warriors, all right, men, defenders of the gospel. All right, those who can't be bought, those who what have always kept their integrity, all right, to Yahweh Shah. This is John 15 and 27. And ye also shall bear witness because what? Ye have been with me from the beginning. All right. So now in this time, the Lord is what? Has woken up those prophets and what gave them back the testimony to what? Resurrect the the, the uh, elect of Israel. All right. Let's grab that in Isaiah 49. And um, uh, all right. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. That's it. That's it. All right, let's start at the top. All right, uh, let's start here at five. All right, this is uh, Isaiah 49 and five. It says, and now said the Lord that formed thee from the womb to be his servant. See, just like Jeremiah. All right, to bring again to him, to bring Jacob again to him, though Israel be not gathered yet shall Israel. I be yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and Yahweh shall be my my strength. And he and he said, "It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant, to raise up the preserve of Jacob and restore, uh, raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the preserved of Israel. Those who are what going to receive salvation, those believers. So let's grab that in the blue letter, preserved." All right, we're going to grab that in that text. All right, give me one moment. All right, give me one moment. Let's see if I can get this flipped. All right, let me go to the blue letter. I want to grab that. All right, give me one quick moment. So the Lord will what raise up the preserved of Israel here in these last days. That will be what the job of the elect. All right, which this truth what fell on good ground, which will be the elect. All right. Let me uh, grab something here. Let's go to the Old Testament, Isaiah 49. All right. Isaiah 49, and we're going to go to 6, and we're going to grab that word preserved. All right. Give me one moment. All right. We're going to grab that preserved. One moment. Strong's age, fifty three thirty six. Not see it. Not see it. Preserved. All right. Which means what? To preserve something. Those that are going to get what? Preserved. Let's grab that. In the. In the. Uh, let's grab that in the Google search. Preserved. All right. Give me one moment. We're going to grab the word preserved by definition. Give me one moment. All right. Preserved. Definition. All right. <clears throat> Which is going to be preserved. One moment. Preserve. All right. To preserve. To maintain something in its origi original or existing state. To retain a condition or state of affairs to maintain or what? Keep alive. All right. So the Lord's going to what? Preserve his elect from this time. Let's grab that. Conserve to protect, to maintain, to care of, to take care of, to look after, to what? Save. See? To save. To keep safe or rescue some, something, someone or something from what? Harm or danger. All right? Because what? That's what the so-called white man is, is looking for the 144,000 and the believers. All right. When this devil, what come in like a flood. All right. Let's go back to the uh, scriptures. All right. One moment. So those who are going to be what preserved, they will be what called back to the truth. Isaiah 49 and six. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore 
restore the preserved of Israel, I will also give thee for a light unto the Gentiles. All right, that should say the Hellenist Israelites, because only the Israelites are called to salvation. Okay, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Thus said the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, the Holy One, to him man despised to him who the nations have horn, to a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise. Princes shall also worship because the Lord that is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, shall choose thee. And how do you know that the Lord have chosen us? By what? Him giving us back this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Verse 8, thus said the Lord, in an acceptable time have I heard thee, and in a day, self, in a day of salvation have I helped thee. I will preserve thee and give thee a, for a covenant to the, to the people to what establish the earth and the cause to inherit the desert, desolate, desolate heritages. All right? So what the Lord is what? Had a group of a, a, a plant. That's what in God and inherit the earth. Let's grab that Isaiah 65. All right. And uh, eight. All right. This is Isaiah 65 and eight. It says, thus said the Lord as the new wine is found in a cluster. So those who what have this truth, who believe is going to be found in what those grapes who the Lord is going to keep, keep or preserve. And one say, what, destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servant's sake, that I might not destroy them all. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, and my elect shall inherit them, and my servant shall dwell there. So what, the Lord is what sent the prophets to what? Resurrect the elect. All right. All right. Also, let's grab a precept here. All right. Let's go to uh, Second Ezra. 2 and 20. This will be the job of the prophets. It says what? Do right to the widow, judge the fatherless, give to the poor, defend the orphan, cloth the naked with this truth. Heal the broken and the weak, laugh not a lame man to scorn, defend the maim, and let the blind come into the sight of my cleanliness. All right, those who believe come into what? The pure understanding of the truth. Keep the old and young within thy walls. That's this knowledge. All right, within the walls of your mind, wheresoever thou findest the dead, take them and bury them, and I will give them the first place of my resurrection. Abide, O still, O my people, and take thy rest, for quietness shall come. Nourish thy children with this knowledge. O thou good nourished, Yahweh shall establish their feet in the gospel. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will acquire them from among thy, thy number. Be not weary, for when the day in trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee. And why they're going to envy the elect? Because they're not going to be able to stop them. They're not going to be able to kill them. Okay, they're not going to be able to put them to death. All right? All right? But they shall not be able to do nothing against thee, said the Lord. My hands, which are the prophets, shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. Be joyful, O thy mother, with thy children, for I will deliver thee, said the Lord. Remember thy children that are asleep, for I will bring them out of the sides of the earth and show mercy unto them, for I am merciful, said the Lord Almighty. Embrace thy children until I come and show mercy unto them, for my wells run over and my grace shall not fail. All right, so the grace is not going to fail among the elect. Also, let's grab this second Ezra chapter 2 and verse 39. Unto whom I will give leaders, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Ozias, Amos, Micah, Joe, Abedus, Jonas, Nahum, Abuka, Sophonis, Agai, Malach, Z uh, Agaius, Zechariah, um, and Malachi, which are also a, a angel of the Lord. Are uh, what uh, angels in flesh said to what God Israel back to the truth. All right, the messengers of the Lord. All right, so the prophets are actually what angels that are sent down here to what fulfill a purpose and do the job of the Lord. All right, let's grab that Jude chapter one and verse six. All right, and it reads, it says, and the angels which kept not their first estate, which is with the heavenly realm, but left their own habitation. He have reserved, all right, in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. 
all right, to the day they will be what? Redeemed. So the prophets are what? Sleeper cells, an army of the Lord, all right, uh, soldiers of uh, Mashiach, Yahweh Shah, sent to what? Resurrect the elect, all right, to protect them, to protect the sheep, all right, until Yahweh Shah come to what? Deliver them, all right, from the so-called white man. So the so-called white man understands this dynamic that there is a special group of people here, all right, angels, all right, sent here to what? To fulfill the will of the Lord. And he's going to what? Try to, at all means, frustrate the purposes of what? The nation of Israel being delivered from out of his hands. All right? And what? Try to stop their rule and stop their reign. All right? So I got a video here I want to show y'all. Okay, give me one moment. All right, let me grab that and show you that the elites know, all right, that we're here, that, that we're here. All right, the message of the Lord. All right, so let's grab that. I'm going to play this video two times because this is a powerful video. All right, one moment. A hybrid with a consciousness that, that they have planted for the awakening. There are specific people who have come down here to be catalysts for the awakening. The entities or the beings who are saying, you See, know. you heard that? See, they understand this dynamic and what they're trying to stop the salvation of the children of Israel. Let's, let's hear that again. One moment. Okay. That not everybody, not all human beings are a hybrid with a consciousness that, that they have planted for the awakening. There are specific people who have come down here to be catalysts for the awakening. The entities or the beings who are saying, you know, it's time to leave, it's time to leave, because I'm sure there are, you probably heard a lot of that, is they're trying to look for their people who haven't awoken that, um, that need to awaken so that they can find them and take them off the planet because they're here to do a job, you know, and they don't want them on the surface of the earth when the cataclysm comes. All right, so when the judgment comes, all right, that's prophetic. All right, that's why the scripture says um, the prophets are here to what? Seal the elect. All right, and let's go to Revelation 7. All right, uh, Revelation chapter 7 and verse 1, it says, And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth and that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor any tree and I saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of Yahweh the living power and cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given the earth and, earth and the sea that's what she's talking about that cataclysm or what destruction saying hurt not the earth neither the sea neither the trees till we have sealed the servants of Yahweh in their foreheads with the Lord's name and his knowledge verse uh, all right, and with the Holy Spirit, all right? That's why the scripture says, um, let me grab that. Those, those who have the breath, the Holy Spirit of, of Ephesians 4 and 30, it says, uh, it says, and grieve not the Holy Spirit whereby ye are sealed until the day of redemption. So the Lord is what sealed you, all right, with this truth. You believe it on the gospel. Once you believe, you're what? Sealed. All right. For what? Salvation. All right. Let me grab this as well. All right. Um, Ephesians. All right. Chapter 1 and verse 13. Ephesians 1 and 13. It says, In whom ye trusted after ye heard the word of the truth out the mouth of the prophets, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also ye... ye, ye after that he believed, he were sealed with what? The Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance unto the redemption of the purchased possession. How were you purchased? By Yahweh shall blood, which is what? Going into the second covenant, the new covenant, unto the praise of his glory. Wherefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in Yahweh shall, and, and love to all his saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, the Lord Yahweh, the 
the father of glory may give unto you what? The spirit of wisdom and a revelation of the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding be enlightened with this truth that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory in the inheritance in his saints. And what is the exceedingly greatness of his power to us who believe according to the working of his mighty power. All right, which the what Lord woke us up to this truth. Okay, now uh, let me go back and I want to reiterate this. We're going to play the video again. And there's a point I want to hit. All right, where well, what the prophets were sent to what? Wake up the elect. All right, which I'm going to go back there to Revelation 7. But I want you to hear that again. Okay, that not everybody, not all human beings are a hybrid with a consciousness that that they have planted. So the prophets will cons be considered a hybrid army. All right. We're considered hybrids because what our brains are functioning on a higher level than the mere mortals. Our brain capacity is functioning on a higher level than the average human being. We have heavenly wisdom. All right. We are not the same. <laughs> All right. Let's, co let's continue. For the awakening. There are specific people. All right. So when you say hybrids, those who brings up functioning at a higher brain capacity. Okay. That not everybody, not all human beings are a hybrid with a consciousness that, that they have planted for the awakening. There are specific people who have come down here to be catalysts for the awakening. The entities or the beings who are saying... See, she said there are specific people that have been sent down here to be catalysts for the Great Awakening. Let's grab a precept. All right, that's uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 13 and 8. It says, uh, all right, it says, but the other fell on good ground. That would be what the prophets, the elect, and brought forth fruit. Some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some hundred, and some thirtyfold. All right, so the pro the prophets will but be given a mission to what wake up the believers. See, and that good ground will be considered what the elect. All right, the prophets, and they will be given talents to what raise the dead with this word, which the truth. All right, it says, but others fell on good ground and brought forth. Fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. All right. Also, um, I want to grab something else. Let's grab this. Um, First Thessalonians chapter four, and uh, let's start at verse thirteen. All right. It says, "But I would not have you ignorant, brethren." All right. But I would not have you ignorant, brethren, concerning they which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if ye believe that your house shall die and rose again, even so them also which which sleep in your house shall, those who died in this truth, will your house bring with them. For this we say, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that they which are alive, they have the Holy Spirit, and remain. That's preserved until the coming of the Lord. Uh, 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 coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Those who what having awoken and came to this truth, for the Lord should, for the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with the shout and with the voice of an archangel and with the trump of Yahweh. That's the uh, that's the great multitude of angels, and the dead in Yahweh shall, shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And a part of that comfort, that comfort is what? The, the, what the Yahweh shall got us. Us believing on the doctrine as well as what? Possessing the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right. So let's go back to the video one moment all right give me one moment all right one moment so we're gonna start it over again hey okay. 
that not everybody, not all human beings are a hybrid with a consciousness that, that they have planted for the awakening. There are specific people who have come down here to be. So now you see why they was trying to get everybody to take that, that, uh, that jungle juice to try to stop the awakening. All right. But what they, they are running out of time. So what are they going to do? All right. They're going to come in like a flood and try to exterminate all us, which the Lord is going to what? Give those who have uh, th those men that he sent down here, his army, spiritual power to protect them until your hour shall come. All right. One moment. All right. And to keep them until your hour shall come. Not all human beings are a hybrid with a consciousness that that they have planted for the awakening. There are specific people who have come down here to be catalysts for the awakening. The entities or the beings who are saying, you know, it's time to leave, it's time to leave, because I'm sure there are, you probably heard a lot of that, is they're trying to look for their people who haven't awoken. See, and that's what we were screaming. It's time to wake up. It's time to leave. It's time to extend in the spirit. It's time to depart from what? This place spiritually. To come back to Yahweh Shai. All right, that's what we're saying in the scriptures as we're going to get. Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. All right, that's, the, that's what we're preaching. And that knowing the time, it is a high time to wake up out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. All right. All right, that's what we're telling you. Wake up. It's time to wake up. See? Same thing she's saying, but I'm wording it through the scriptures. All right? We about to get out of here. It's time to wake up. Or you ain't gonna you gonna stay here. See? Right? One moment. Okay, that not everybody, not all human beings are a hybrid with a consciousness that that they have planted for the awakening. There are specific people who have come down here to be catalysts for the awakening. The entities or the beings who are saying, you know, it's time to leave, it's time to leave, because I'm sure there are, you probably heard a lot of that, is they're trying to look for their people who haven't awoken, that, um, that need to awaken so that they can find them and take them off the planet, because they're here to do a job, you know, and they don't want them on the surface of the earth when the cataclysm comes. So you think you think they collect them? I do think they will collect them. Because mm. um, my impression is that... So that's going to happen. He said, do you think that they're going to collect them? Yes. The Lord is going to what? Come and gather his elect. All right, let me grab that. Um, let's grab that Isaiah 11 and 9. All right. It says, they shall not hurt nor destroy in my holy mountain. That's going into what? The elect. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as waters cover the sea. And in that day there shall, and in that day there shall be a root out of Jesse, which shall stand as the isn of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek and his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again a second time to recover my remnant of his people, which shall be left in Assyria, America, Egypt, Pathos, from Cush and Elam and Shinar, and Hamath and the islands of the sea. And he shall sit up an ensign for the nations, and he shall assemble what the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah for the four corners of the earth. That's what? That's going into the deliverance of the elect. All right. Also, let's go to the book of Matthew 13, somewhere around 44. Matthew 13 and 44. Um... Let's jump down. All right, let's start at, yeah, we can start at 44. It says, again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure that's hidden in the field. That's just truth that which when, when, when a man found, he hideth it, and for the joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he have and buyeth into that field. That means what? Let go of the world and buy into the truth. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls when he hath found one pearl of a great price. 
went and sold all that he had and bought it. That means what? To 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 leave everything and what? Buy into this truth as well, too. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net and cast it into a sea and gather out every kind, which when it was full, he, they drew it to shore and sat down and gather out and gather the good into good into vessels, but the bad cast away. So what? That's the elect and the ones that what didn't the, the, the foolish versions are away. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the uh, sever shall sever the wicked from among the just, the elect from the non-believers. All right. And shall cast them into the furnace of fire. That's that thermonuclear destruction. And there shall be welling and gnashing of teeth. So what the Lord is going to come to what? Deliver his elect. And the angels are going to what? Come and remove them from the earth. Okay. All right. Also, let's grab another one. All right. When these devils roll on us. All right. This is Revelations chapter 11 and verse 8. All right. And it reads, let me just jump down to 11. It says, and after three days and a half or 350 years, the spirit of life, which is the Holy Spirit from Yahweh, entered into them, the elect, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them with Sodom, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. That's going to be literally the heavenly father telling you to come up, all right, to come up, and those who have the oil to beam up the truth and, they, and the Holy Spirit. And they ascended up into heaven into a cloud. That's those chariots, the, uh, what they even call UFOs and UAPs. And their enemies beheld them. And in the same hour, there was a great earthquake. And a tent part of the city fell, that thermonuclear destruction. And, a, and the earthquake was slain 7,000, which means completion. And the remnant were frightened and gave glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahshah. The second war is passed, and behold, the third war come quickly. So in between what? The sixth trumpet, which is the chip, and the seventh trumpet, that thermonuclear destruction, the elect is going to be delivered out of that what? Tribulation. Okay. Let's go back to the video. All right. One moment. All right. So the, they, these devil, the elite, knowing what they're going to try to hunt and come after the elect. That's why what? They're going to try to genocide all of us kill us all while they go underground to what try to save themselves from their thermonuclear destruction because what they know that they don't have no salvation you know and they don't want them on the surface of the earth when the cataclysm comes so you think you think they collect them i do think they will collect them because mm. um my impression is that there are some restrictions earthwise that might you know stand in the way um speaking about governments concealing the airspace mm -hmm. uh, as much as possible in order to you know prevent uh foreign entities in here and who are those foreign they entities destroyed all the tissue and all the huh that's that war in heaven when the lord come to what deliver his elect revelations chapter 12 all right in verse 7 that's what they're talking about. And there was a and there was a war in heaven. All right. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, the white man, and fought against his angels and prevailed not. Neither was there any place neither was their place found uh, anymore in heaven. And that great dragon which was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Now it's come what? Salvation, strength, and the kingdom of our power, and the power of Yahushua, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down. The Lord killed them all, and a, which accused them before Yahweh day and night, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, which is what the the new covenant, the testimony. All right, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives to death. All right, so let's go back here. All right. So as you can see, that's going to come that war in heaven when what the angels come to bust out the elect. All right. And there should be a time of trouble, Daniel 12 and 1. All right. So let's hear that again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start it from the beginning and play it all the way through. Okay. That not everybody, not all human beings are a hybrid with a consciousness that 
that they have planted for the awakening. There are specific people who have come down here to be catalysts for the awakening. The entities or the beings who are saying, you know, it's time to leave, it's time to leave, because I'm sure there are, you probably heard a lot of that, is they're trying to look for their people who haven't awoken that, um, that need to awaken so that they can find them and take them off the planet because they're here to do a job, you know, and they don't want them on the surface of the earth when the cataclysm comes. So you think, you think they collect them? I do think they will collect them. Mm. Because um, my impression is that there are some restrictions earthwise that might, you know, stand in the way. Um, speaking about governments concealing the airspace mm -hmm. uh, as much as possible in order to, you know, prevent uh, foreign entities in here. So if they destroyed all the tissue in all these places across the world, maybe they could defeat him. Well, he then regenerated in, in their offices and was fully fine, fully intact. But the sad part is that he said, you know, I, you guys so badly do not want me to be here that I am not going to be able to do any more. You're going to get what you want. But bear in mind that in the future, many others like me will be coming. And when they do, you will not be able to stop us. So that's going to conclude the lesson.
All right, let me uh, go to the comment board. One moment. All right, give me one moment. Let me see if I can find a background. All right, give me one moment. All right, give me one quick moment. All right, I'm going to go to the comment board. All right. Uh, Shalom, Shalom, Abba, Shalom, Makiyah, Wisdom of Solomon 39. They that put their trust in him shall what? Understand the truth. That's right. And such as be faithful in love will abide with them for grace and mercy is to his saints and he have care for his elect. Beautiful. John 15 and 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. They what? You should go and bring forth fruit. That's right. Beautiful scripture. And that your fruit shall remain, that what's up you should ask in that you should ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. That's right. Psalm 65 and 4. Blesses a man whom thou choosest and, and causes approach unto thee, that he might dwell in thy courts. All right, those who have this knowledge, the name of the Lord and this truth, are in the courts of the Lord, the secret place of the Lord. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of the house. That's this truth even of thy holy temple. Beautiful. Shalom Bernard Bailey, 1 uh, uh, Corinthians 10 and 4, and did drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of the spiritual rock that followed them, and, and that rock was what? Yeah, I was shy. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. All right. So as you can see, all right, the Lord is doing a miraculous work. All right, these devils know what time it is. They going to come after us, but what? We have nothing to worry about because what? We are confident by the scriptures and Yahweh willing, we are part of that precious elk that be delivered here in these last days. All right, so I hope that this lesson was edifying. I would like to say, call hello, Yahweh, Shemiah, Shabbat, 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 Shabbat,